on let the show debut. Hello. Okay. Well, yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> move that microphone to the side now, baby. Let's move it up. Let's move it up a little bit. <laughs> Get it out your frame. My frame. What you know about a frame? <laughs> you don't know nothing about no damn cameras. <laughs> Anyway, hey y'all. Um, hey y'all. Hello. What do I? What do I? What do I always say on this shit? Okay, I'll be like, okay. Oh yeah, I, I must be a little bit drunk. Hey y'all. Good morning. It's me, your boy Chuck, with the Chuck program. Um, I am Chuck. I think I just said that. Um, here we are back. Uh, episode number twenty-two. Just like my age. <laughs> that. Better, more like the age of some of the drawers I still own. I still, I, I, I still own some underwear from like '99, <laughs> 2000. Is that good or is that bad? They, they ain't that bad. I mean, they, they look, they look stretched. They look stretched. They got, they got a little scratch, but ain't nothing wrong with them. They still fit. They still fit. Y'all like this pink I got on? You know they say that um. They say real men wear pink, and I'm a real man, so. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing real. The only thing real man about me is my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this air on? Is air been on the whole time? Oh my God, Bronny. This. Uh, I'm not re-recording -re that again, so. Um. Um. <laughs> Act like it's the um, this it's the, it's the um, ocean breeze or some shit like. <clears throat> um, come on, Amsterdam and orange juice. Um, y'all, I took notes. Let me let me find the notes. I took notes of just some things that I wanted to talk about. Um, before we get into that bullshitty bullshit that I like to talk about. I don't. I only like to talk about the most bullshitty of the bullshit because it it, it entertains me. The bullshit entertains. And yes, my shorts don't match, but that's none of y'all business. Because um, it's only supposed to be from here up. But if 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 the camera want to show a little leg, I ain't gonna take it right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on here. Show you my sexy legs. Hairless, and, well, they got a little bit of hair, but they're naturally very smooth and <laughs> silky. Love it, love it, I love it. I love, I love myself like this. I love myself like this. <laughs> According to my notes, I wanted to definitely mention um, the new subscribers I have to my cha my various channels, uh, be it the Instagram, be it the Facebook, um, or um, be it to um, the podcast itself, which is on Apple, Google, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Um, I'm leaving SoundCloud and others that I don't remember the names of them. Um, yeah, thank you, new subscribers. Um, I'm going to try to do you do you proud. Um. <laughs> but you already know by even watching this or listening to this that to, to aim low. You already know this. This thing, <laughs> look, you you know it ain't gonna be up here. It's gonna be you know right over here. But hey, but we all are here. And if I got some of y'all up at echelons watching this. I'm doing something right or wrong. I don't know. <laughs> or either you're watching this to um, <laughs> or you're watching this to show your other ep your other upper echelon peoples what not to do. Is that is that why y'all watching this shit? Upper echelon. I I'm waiting. No. <laughs> no. Um. But anyway, new, new subscribers. Thank you. Um. We, we growing, y'all. This little community, 
that 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 that, that I, I should I should give um my peoples a name, my my listeners or watchers. I should give them a name. All six of y'all on Facebook, but um not Facebook on YouTube. But that's gonna change one day. I know it is. Um, and if it don't, I'm I, I will always be one. There will always be one. <laughs> there will always be one. They gonna never be no zero on there. Never because I watch it. But um, cause I think I'm funny and I think I'm entertaining. <laughs> Baby, at least somebody do. Um, yeah, but um, if you are a new uh, follower or subscriber or um, liker, whatever, tell a friend, tell somebody, tell somebody about this. Tell somebody that um, he over here trying to do whatever this is. And even if it's pity laughs, I'll take them. Or pity watches or pity listens, I'll take them because Hey, a follow is a follow, a like is a like, a listen is a listen, a watch is a watch. So if, if you like, we'll just watch, if it's like train wreck type shit, like, <laughs> train, like, you just watching the, you just watching the, the, the train run to that next train and, and it happened every, um, that's another thing too, I'm, I'm gonna be more consistent. I'm gonna try to do this at least, I wanna do it once a week, but that ain't gonna happen. Uh, once every other week would really be good would be really good i want consistent like consistency is the key to um a lot of things in life consistency um consistency yeah 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 um just having a certain day and um uh, like uh you know you know that 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 this will be published um and stuff and things like such as um <coughs> excuse me but um yeah but that's the key to it but um yeah but um my whole, I think my whole point was to um, talk about yeah, think that yeah, uh, like tell, yeah, tell your tell a friend, tell a friend to to, to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe uh, to so the, the podcast or like the podcast on whatever your podcast platform is, um, and th these things are caution. I, I ain't ask y'all for no money. I'm not. I ain't ask y'all for no money. I, didn't, I, I just I just this. I mean t sometimes. Time is more valuable than money. If you give somebody your time just to listen to them or just to watch them, it, that that is way more valuable and way more um uh um not it, not the word ain't lucrative because it ain't, it ain't no money involved. It ain't lucrative, but um it could be lucrative. It, it has the possibility to be um and 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 low key. I'm not gonna disclose numbers, but I have, I don't, you know, I, I don't, you know. The more people listen, the more, um, how do, like, the, the, the more, um, uh, 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 subscribers and watchers and likers and all this shit that I have, like, the more, um, uh, the more the, the 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 um the higher ups like the the Apple people and the um Google people, they'll put this show or this podcast in front of people that can give me some real man. I'm only assuming I don't know I don't know how that shit work. <laughs> in my mind, that's how it works. Like <laughs> the more people that watch the shit, the more people like the shit, the more um uh, Apple and them pay attention. Apple peepers, if if, you, if y'all watching this, um God bless you. <laughs> No, but um, I'm here for um, I'm 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 here and I'm ready to um take this thing to the next level. Y'all give me a budget and I'll and I'll give you a show. I'll give you a show. Hey, I give you a slow grinding show. <laughs> Remember that back in the day. I don't really care what them one say. I don't really watch what them one do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> why was some girl? Why was some girls in them Sean Paul videos beating their chest like that? <laughs> that shit. That shit hurt me just now. Like damn, man. You gonna you gonna fuck up your sternum and your breasts. But um. But I digress, like I always do. Um. Yeah. Tell a friend. Uh. Tell a friend. It, even if you. Don't like the shit. Maybe you know somebody that would. All right, so um, let's get into the bullshit. What's going on in the world? What's going on in the stupid? 
bullshit. Like I said before, it's always some bullshit. But like that's the only these are the only things that pique my attention is the bullshit. So bullshit it will be. Um I, I need some ice, but I like my um I got a refrigerator over there. Is that okay? No stupid ass. Stupid ass. Got the camera all in the wrong place. Uh, whereas I'm trying to find some news reports, I don't, the first thing, the first screen I see is porn. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I should pause the show right quick so I can take a, take a, take a, take a, take a, take a closer look, but I have it in my bookmarks. <laughs> the, the, porn watchers, porn watchers, do y'all bookmark your, your favorite uh, 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 scenes and or movies? and or uh, amateur uh, uh, play. Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you bookmark your porn with like your other <laughs> websites, like your targets and your um, <laughs> and your baby school? No. <laughs> Imagine, you got PS 3.57 and a half <laughs> and then you got Pornhub. Like, nah, that ain't gonna fly. But who computer is this? It's, if it's my computer, it's gonna be it's gonna be arranged how I want. No, I don't have yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, just a thought. Um, yeah. So let's see what's going on. Let's, I'm gonna go over to the white people news. Let's see what's going on TV, TMZ. <laughs> see what's going on TMZ with the white peoples. White peoples, you gotta be, see black people. We gotta know what's going on in in because like. You know, we have, I mean, we may not be as much as interested in like what, for instance, the first, the first um article that's on TMZ right now is about Pamela Anderson. And it uh, says goodbye to Malibu. Black people, do we care? I mean, we don't, we don't care. It could have been, well, if it said Beyonce says goodbye to Malibu, I would have, that would have piqued my attention, but I don't care. I don't care nothing about no, um, Pamela Anderson moving or, or leaving or coming or, well, I did care about her coming when I was young, when I was a child, and I hope on that movie that she did with her husband at the time, Tommy Lee. Now she was coming in that one, and that piqued my attention. It did, it did. Or oh, was it Tommy? Anyway, but um, yeah, that. <laughs> but see, but yeah, but <laughs> that's why I like to like keep up um with what's going on in the white world because like it triggers another memory that I have of their business <laughs> and then I can talk about that see fuck, fuck her moving to the from Malibu let's talk about that tape that she did back in the day <laughs> taking that <laughs> Yo. Pamela Anderson was taking that she was taking that long ass what okay what I'm okay no I, I, I'm sorry I, I, I'm um I'm going to, I'm going to a place and I, I don't want to go there. Britney Spears, I lock myself in my bathroom. It's weird, entertaining, it may be alarming. What? What is going on? Okay. I'm going to take a drink. Okay. Again, this is TMZ. <clears throat> Britney Spears just told a long, bizarre story about getting locked in her bathroom in the middle of the night and its eyebrow raising for sure. The pop star just shared her wild bathroom adventure, explaining how she got trapped in there in the first place and detailing the lengths to which she and others went to set her free. Britney, you, you always come fine, ain't you? Oh, Britney, you always come fine. You can find you can find in your career with that daddy of yours, and, and now you can confine to the bathroom. Brittany says she got distracted by some leftover coffee on a hunt for some face wash before realizing she was locked inside. She says her boyfriend Sam Asgari um was fast asleep, and she had to scream four times to wake him up. Uh, when Sam's attempts to pick the lock failed, 
Brittany says she was able to call security to come open the door, but it sounds like they were asleep just like Sam. So you got 24 hour security and they go to sleep and they get to go to bed? I don't, um, oh, they must have off hours or something. Cause your 24 hour security shouldn't be going to bed. Like you should have somebody on the clock working. But, um, ain't that what you paid them for, girl? Ain't that what you paid them for? You, all that money? Well, all, let me say all the money your daddy got because he got all your money. But, um, <laughs> that's not funny. But, um, you know, um, Brittany says another 45 minutes went by before she was finally freed, but only after drinking her stale coffee. You, Brittany, why are you tell, why are you, why are you telling people this? <laughs> this could have been, this should have been between you and your husband or your boyfriend and whoever like you consider a friend or a confidant, a pal and a confidant. And if Britney threw a party, she wouldn't be there cause she's in the bathroom. That was good. I should write that down. Britney, don't tell people, don't, this ain't helping your, your case now. I, <laughs> I don't know, girl. Your daddy never gonna take this, this whole report to the court. Her daddy gonna be like, well, TMZ reported that she locked herself in the bathroom. <laughs> And I can see the daddy painted off for the, well, she she locked herself in the bathroom and the lock was right there from the inside, but she couldn't figure out how to get out. So that's why I feel like she's not ready to, to be out on her own. Brittany, don't tell nobody else these type of stories. It's, it's, it's probably funny. It, it was probably something innocently happening. Something that innocently happened. But like you said, what you say, girl? You not that... What you say, Brittany? Tell me. Is you watching? <laughs> Brittany said they're innocent, so don't tell nobody nothing else like this. Um, oh, T.I. done got arrested again. T.I. done got arrested again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. TMC, TM, TMC. <laughs> That's the movie channel. <laughs> anyway, um. Oh, according to TMZ, T.I. says cops in Amsterdam busted him over a bike incident involving an officer, but he says they never put handcuffs on him and he's already out of jail and posting bail. If it, I, I bet T.I. know the process of the law everywhere in the world. I bet he knows the process of every police station in the world. If there is one thing that T.I. knows how to do, it's get arrested. He know how to get locked up. God damn, nigga. Oh, oh I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But no, I, I said, no, I, no, it's fine. He, he, stop getting arrested. Stop doing things to get your ass arrested. And stop raping girls or whatever the fuck you doing over there too. Like, I, I allegedly, ain't nobody watching this shit for me to say allegedly anyway. But <laughs> anyway, the rapper recorded a video Tuesday while he says he was in custody in Amsterdam. According to T.I., he was riding his bicycle and didn't stop when crossing the street. He says instead, he kept going and his handlebar broke off a cop's side mirror. <laughs> T.I. <laughs> oh, Lord. He was riding his bicycle and didn't stop when crossing the street. He says instead he kept going and his handlebar broke off a cop's side mirror. <laughs> because now if you had followed the law and, and, and if you stopped when you were supposed to, you would never hit that cop. See, if you do right, if you do right, uh, the, things will happen to you. I mean, we all are guilty of doing some wrong things in our own wrong little way. I ain't judging him. I ain't no better. But I mean and 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 neither do and, and when I'm on my bike, neither do I follow the rules of the road. Like I I'm all over. I'm running lights. But I mean it's a bike. We can do that. I do it in front of cops. I don't know if it's a New York thing. Do that in New York. Not in no Amsterdam. Hello. You would never get in trouble if you ain't hit the damn cops uh bike 
uh, whatever the whatever you hit and broke off. See how you you driving me to smoke. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I like that? Look, you you love to throw you you, you love to. You love to string together big words. You love to string them big words together. String some big words and tell them to yourself to stop getting involved with the law. You always end up with the law. Damn, nigga. Damn. You, you ain't tired of dealing with the police? Ugh. That's stupid. That is so stupid. T.I. Stop that. I know, um, rapper the baby offers second apology after recent homophobic comments. So he don't. Damn, them, them checks must be drying up over there. And on, on his side, he he said, uh, "I'm gonna apologize for a second and third, maybe even fifth time, probably." Hell, yeah. When them checks dry, that them that same way of thinking dry too, don't it? Um, this motherfucker. Um. Rapper DaBaby offered another apology Monday while facing heavy backlash after he made crude and homophobic remarks at a recent Miami area. Uh, I hate reading. <laughs> I hate reading. Rapper DaBaby offered another apology Monday while facing heavy backlash after he made crude and homophobic remarks at a recent Miami area music festival. But you can hear that from me. It ain't no rumor. It's a fact. It was rolling loud. The Grammy-nominated performer said he was misinformed for his comments about HIV slash AIDS in the post, which came out after the rapper was cut from Lollapalooza's lineup in Chicago. On Monday, New York City's Governor Ball and Day in Vegas and Las Vegas each announced the rapper had been dropped from their lineups. The baby, whose real name is Jonathan Kirk, Kirk, sidebar, scratch, record scratch, whatever the fuck I'm gonna put right there. His name is Jonathan Kirk. Jonathan Kirk. That is the most common, most non rapper, most your third grade teacher slash guidance counselor slash human resources at your current job as an adult. All them things, but not no rapper. A part of his uh, apology says, um, social media moves so fast that people want to demolish you before you even have the opportunity to grow. Educate and learn from your mistakes, he wrote. As a man who, had, okay, let me dr I need a drink on this. <laughs> I need to drink on this. Mm -mm. I need a puff on this too, wait a minute. I, I need to, I need to, we about to smoke weed and we about to drink together because um this nigga. As a man who has had to make his own way from very difficult circumstances, having people I know I'm spitting. I'm, I'm probably trying to spit at him. Yo, like he he been edging to he been edging to get canceled for a while. He finally he finally he finally did it. You 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 win. You win. You've been you've been trying to get canceled forever, but you finally did it. No, but um, then he punched a girl one time or some shit. He punched a woman a woman at a club for being too close or trying to take a picture or some shit. Don't let me forget this, y'all. Do not let me forget this. But I gotta look that shit up. I, I think I'm right though. Then he then he popped some woman in the face. Was that another rapper? That's all for me. That's all. That's all that is pat myself on the back for. I'm right. The baby. Um. La yeah, last year. Y'all, he been itching to get canceled for a while now. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. But what makes me feel a lot better is the fact that I have a great haircut with a great shape up, and my gro my brows, my brows are. Great too. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, 
the rapper the baby was filmed punching a woman filmed excuse me no it triggers like your other shit triggered that you did the other day you a triggering motherfucker ain't it without even holding a gun you triggering jesus boy <laughs> Do, he do the most triggering and ain't even got no gun in his hand when he be doing the triggering the victim Tyronisha Law the victim Tyronisha Law something tells me that Tyronisha's father is named Tyrone <laughs> black people I love us black people. I do. I love us so much because, like, I so what? How you gonna name a girl Tyrone? Tyronisha. Tyronisha. Because I love you, and even though we not having a son, I should name. I should still have a child named after the man I love. Yeah, Tyronisha. Yeah, 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 yo, 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 yeah, that's lit, that's lit, yeah, yo. Yo, thank you, baby. That isn't the, the most black, but I love it though, I love it. Tyrone and Tyrone Nisha. <laughs> but her daddy might be, her daddy, her daddy name might be Clyde. I don't know these people, but hey. <laughs> nah, her daddy named Tyrone, nah, fuck that, nah, nah, nah. You ain't gonna name your daughter Tyrone Nisha without her, dad, her daddy or her granddaddy, somebody being named, somebody is Tyrone. Somebody's Tyrone, but anyway, I don't digress all the way from the original point of the baby saying that homophobic ass shit. Now I'm talking about Tyrone new shit and her daddy. <laughs> I should, I should, I should, I should change the name from the Chuck program to the Digression program, like, cause that's all the fuck I do. Anyway, but um, but yeah, she, but Tyrone Shalow was the victim, was knocked off her feet. Not Stevie Wonder style, or not even Michael Jackson style, the way you make me feel. No, but the baby style. Um, by what appears to be a right hook that the rapper delivered right to her face. Say this. He been edging, he, he been, he been like, for, for like a year or more, cause something happened before, something happened before that, something about, some shit, I don't remember. He been edging, he been like, Y'all, can y'all, hey y'all, y'all gonna cancel me, please? Y'all, please cancel me. <laughs> y'all, I'm here, y'all. I wanna get canceled. Everybody else, you ain't no star till you get canceled. So he been asking y'all to cancel him for a long time. Then y'all finally heard it. <laughs> y'all heard his little short ass that day when he was at Rolling Loud. <laughs> y'all heard him loud and clear. He was at cancel me. And he said it like he meant the shit. Like imagine somebody like uh, uh like Denzel or somebody telling us to cancel him in the most with, with a with a tear going down his eye like in glory that he got that oscar for cancel me and tell me you wouldn't do it tell me you wouldn't cancel denzel if he looked at you in your eye and you think he looking at you in your eye but you just watch the screen like everybody else but like he said, cancel me cancel me cancel me you would do it and that's what he did. That's what the baby did. The baby gave us like a um a Denzel Washington as Oscar worthy, like not that he was acting, but I'm just saying, but like the believability of what Denzel and them be doing, the 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 the, uh, be the believability of what Meryl Streep and them be doing. Like you believe that shit when you see them acting. Like yo, when you, when you said that bullshit that you said the baby, yeah, that was like. We believe, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you were saying out loud, basically, what you said equated to cancel me. Yeah, you, 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 you've been asking us for a while to get canceled. Here you go. You got what you want to get. Speak, yeah. I, he is a girl. People that are like that. People that like for no reason have shit to say about gay people. For the the people that are like um the most 
outwardly and the most loudly. I don't play with gay people, gay people, blah, 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 blah. Don't be the gay ones. If this is fact. I ain't saying everybody the same. But some of them some of the ones I done encountered over the years. They get down with the get down behind closed doors and NDAs and you know. And that's just the truth. So, but I ain't saying that's the baby, but it's probably the baby. Because <laughs> sometimes the way that he be um phrasing his 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 raps, the rap he got with um Megan Thee Stallion, that cash shit. He said, "You know why these bitches love me? Because baby don't give a fuck." Like, <laughs> so I made this up for her name Megan. This is thing Thee Stallion. Look how she bought. Look how she talked. She thick. <laughs> You listen to it, and I'm not half. Ex I'm exaggerating a little bit, but he, he sound like one of the girls. Like, he sound like one of the girls. He's <laughs> look how she walk. Look how she talk. She sexy. <laughs> Why you wishing you was you one of the motherfuckers getting they dicks up in the parking lot by another dude? Was it you? And and he he he, he bitch your shit or something? Are you mad? <laughs> What's triggering you? Y'all ever watch P Valley? Watch P Valley. Watch P Valley, that show that comes on stars. And if and the people that do watch it, the little dark skinned dude that's with um um what's what's the character name? Homeboy, flamboyant, flamboyancy. Um The Pank. Clifford! Um um mi uh uh I forgot the rapper's name. But yeah, but like he like like the, the the Clifford, he's like the gay guy on the show. He's dating like a dude. They probably based his character off of motherfucking the baby. Like, why are you bullshitting? I forgot his name, but um, but yeah, be um, but be like denying homeboy in public, like badly, like like. But you, but you wanna but you wanna put your dick in him though, like. That's kind of fucked up. That's not nice. You guys that do that, stop. <laughs> You guys that do that need to stop. That ain't right. That ain't right to the, that ain't right to that person. Obviously, like mostly, it, you know, the the majority of the issue is what you're doing to them, but also what you're doing to yourself, bruh. <laughs> what you're doing to yourself ain't cool. That ain't good. That ain't good for your brain. Trust me, I know. <laughs> it's wrong with me now. I mean, those days are over with for me. But like, hey. They existed at one time in my life, but um, I'm glad uh, my life is uh, in a place where I can um not give zero fucks about an other opinion about what I do. That's why I can wear um this pink. Yo, first of all, black people look good in bright colors. We really do. Our melanin just be popping with a bright color on. Matter of fact, no, it, I think it does match because it's kind of like a green, it's kind of like a green, and it's pink, so it's like these like AKA colors, and, and I got green behind me. Well, if I, hey, if I do this, it's green, and and then <laughs> this is the only way I can be an X Man. <laughs> this is the only way. The clapper. <laughs> okay, um. I'm gonna take a break. Um, I might, I might be done. Actually, what did I do? What did I talk about? <laughs> the baby. And Ti, shut the fuck up. He gonna co-sign some shit that he said. The baby. Ti, worry about your court cases, and let him worry about he. Okay. You, cause you got, a, you got a plenty. You probably got some old ones that you ain't been to yet. Let me get my drink ready, cause um. Let me get my drink, let me get my ice. The ice should be, the ice, the ice should be ready. Look, my, look, my fat ass, it won't even fit in the damn frame. I'm trying to get me and my ass. All 
I wanted to say was um, that um, I was just gonna go get some ice um, from my freezer, but um, I shall return right after these brief messages. Well, somebody else like my picture. I'm popular. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a mess. But at least I'm at home. I ain't doing all this dumb ass shit in, in public. I am at my house, in my, in my studio. AKA just in my room, but with a, with a, with a green sheet up. But hey, I, I'm gonna probably cut that part out because you need to think this is like really expensive. This is what the executives need. So hold on, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right back. in my damn cup like it's getting there but sounded good i'll leave it in but if it sounded like shit i'll take it out because i'm already leaving i'm already i already know i'm gonna leave some bullshit in that shouldn't that i ain't gonna sound good on but only thing i wanted to say was like stop you you dudes that mess around and 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 and, and get your dick sucked and and you know, in in the in the still of the night, and then you know, in 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 the in the you know when the clock strikes four in the morning and you drunk, don't come. Stop knocking at stop knocking on these dudes' doors. If you ain't telling the world that you knocking on that dude's door, it ain't right. It ain't right. That dude that you're doing that to it don't deserve it. And he let it rot because you probably got some. <laughs> No, but um, why do I feel the need to put the hat on when I'm saying this? Because I gotta say something so you can relate. Do, do I have to say it like this so you'll listen? All right, bet. So, look, my guy. If you if can't you tell, tell the world, world that a dude is sucking your dick, you shouldn't be getting your dick sucked by a dude. Be you. Be you, be you papa. papa. Be you papa. Son. Be you son, 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 son. No, but like, uh, and it, it, if you if you don't feel comfortable telling the world that you're doing it, leave him alone. And I say that because I was that guy. I don't even know if I'm going to show this shit. <laughs> but probably will, probably won't, probably will. But no, you got to be, you know, if, if, if the people that are around you, you know, don't see it for, for whatever your truth is. That's none of your business. That's on them. That's that's their battle, not yours. Just live your life. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't live your life uh, worrying about what what the next nigga think or the next person think. You know, it's not. That ain't that ain't how life should be. Be happy. Do what you want to do. What's down there in the depths of your soul that you want to do? Let me say so you can look into my pretty brown eyes. You know. No, um. What was I saying? What was I saying? It was something about be you and and and, and don't mess around with nobody and, and and play with them and like um and then when you around and then sometimes they be the dudes be around you know what I'm saying the the the, the you know. You, you you creeping? You cheating on some of them? Cheating on their girls, their wives, all this shit. Like, 
you, you know what I'm saying, treating this, this, this dude who's basically your side piece, you know what I'm saying, if you poking on him in the middle of the night, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the weekends, whenever the fuck, like, on, on that scissor schedule, like, you, you know what I'm saying, for all intents and purposes, that's your side chick, so it's like, you, your side, I say side piece, you, treat, don't, and then they, they treat him like shit, like, now I come over there when I get over there, like, all that type of, like, and I, you know what I'm saying, like, and, and, and dudes on the other side of that shit, don't let nobody do you like that, don't let nobody treat you, I mean, I, yeah, it's probably hot, probably turn you on, but that shit, you know, be, like, there's a way to be, um, uh, what's it, dominant without being an asshole, you know what I'm saying, that, it's, it's possible, so, don't let nobody treat you less than what you're worth, you know what I'm saying, let me get the fuck out of here, <laughs> yo, Y'all have a good day. I just this shit about to die anyway. Um, y'all. Um, I hope. It, eh, y'all will be all right. I'm gonna post it anyway. All right. <laughs> hey, y'all, just do me one favor. Have do something nice for yourself. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Chuck program is available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, SoundCloud, and all other major podcast platforms. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And you can listen to this episode and other previous episodes at thechuckprogram.com. And tell me how you feel about the show at thechuckprogram at gmail.com. Thank you so much, and thank you for your ear.